Hey there, Chris from Webb Motorworks. I'm turning my old rack rod 1936 Hayes into an electric truck. Right now it has a gas motor. It's actually got my patented Webb Flatty, which is, uh, I'll show you this, I'm just sort of disassembling it. It's a small block Chevy that's made to look like a flathead. So as you can see, the heads come off like that. Nice thing about being a rack rod, you can just throw the pieces on the paint job because who cares? This is taking the intake manifold off. So as you can see here, it has an Edelbrock manifold underneath this casing that makes it look like a flathead. So you can see the original small block Chevy under here. It's got a distributor-less distributor ignition here, and the spark plugs and everything are all hidden underneath. So you got the modern convenience of a small block Chevy, uh, but it looks like a vintage engine. But we're pulling that out, and I'm actually going to put it on the back of this truck to run some generators, which will um, recharge my batteries for my electric motor, which isn't really going to work that great, but it'll, you know, it'll look pretty cool, I think. And uh, we'll show you later our, um, what we do is we have a small block Chevy, or it's going to look like a small block Chevy, but it has an electric motor inside with con controllers and all that type of stuff. So this will be an electric rat rod. On the back, there's a mock-up there. I don't know if you can see it. This is the mock-up of what we're going to have for the... We're going to have a couple, two little generators sitting under here. And then they're going to power the batteries, which are going to sit over top of the rear tires here. I think it'll look pretty cool. You know, the one thing I don't want is people thinking, oh, this engine's running the truck, right? But obviously it's not. It's going to be like a... I guess you'd call it a hybrid truck. Okay, hang tight for a sec. Hit my 1936 radiator. That's there you go, right there. Okay. Yep. Sweet. Four years and 30,000 miles on this engine. Still purring like a kitten. I don't know if it's going high enough, Chris. No. This went over the uh, Rocky Mountains, this truck with this engine. Okay, we're just going to put the oil pan through the hole? or? Yeah, sure. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I might have to get some. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Put this starter. I'm gonna have the clutch. I gotta take the clutch gear. off, so it's gonna be back here, right? Yeah, we can do that later, though, right? Yeah. Okay, then come down. <gasps> nice. Who did win all the water out of there? Don't let the dogs lick it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no antifreeze in that. No. <laughs> Got a big void in my truck now. No uh, gas engine. So we just got to do a little bit of clean up. Get, get rid of all these wires and all that stuff. And we're going to have a hell of a lot more wires coming in because it's going to be electric. We won't need these exhaust manifolds, but I'm probably going to run wires down the exhaust because uh, I got to get a whole bunch of wires back to the battery. So that would be a good... A conduit for the wires running down these exhaust pipes.